So hey guys, today is day five of my 30 days to shred and I want to talk about diet a little bit today to uh, kind of help you understand the importance of diet and how to diet when you're trying to cut weight. So it's really important that your diet is spot on because it's not just about cutting calories, right? If you're just cutting calories, you're going to get weak, you're not going to be able to work out and you're not going to get the results. You want to keep being strong in the gym. You want to continue to lift heavy. You want to be able to get through your HIIT workouts. You don't want to get sick or injured. And diet is a key in making sure that that happens. So anyway, we're going to go in here. We're going to do some legs. And then at the end of this video, we're going to talk about diet. It's like 11.20 p.m. right now. And uh, it's about 80 degrees out. It's really nice. Hear the crickets? All right, let's go in. Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time? You're delirious, mysterious Because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I'm gonna learn the consequence of being incompetent. Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honestness. I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away. I could play a million mind games, but instead of say something not illogical, something that is topical, rub it on and watch it go. Make yourself unstoppable. Dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible. If you just believe, you could be so remarkable. Thoughts in my head, a collage, and they spread. I'll be great one day, going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind I gotta make it, I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of bacon Modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself Never slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up
So I started my leg session tonight with front squats and I just started doing those again. So I'm not going real heavy because I need to get my legs used to doing that exercise again. But um, as you noticed, I put the straps on the bar to hold the bar with my hands this way. Um, it's a lot easier for me than crossing over the bar like this. I was never um, really able to do that well, but the straps work really well for me. And um, again, you wanna make sure the bar is not on this AC joint. Helps have developed delts when you put the bar on the front like that, but you want it to sit right on the delt and in front of the collarbone, not on top of your collarbone, okay? So anyway, I warmed up with the bar and then I just started with 10 pounds and increased by five up to 35 on each side. And then I went over to do sumo squats and I actually increased by 10 for each set tonight and I started with 70 went up to 110 so that's five sets and I did 10 reps except for the last one I was able to get eight and then I went over to do the uh, leg extensions I did that technique that I showed you in a previous video where I go up one full rep four half reps one full rep four half reps so one full rep and four half reps is one rep and I did five of those for each set and I started actually at 40 this time and went up to 80 pounds and then I did some core. So anyway, um, regarding diet when you're cutting, it's really important to understand how to eat and how to train. So it's not just about cutting calories because if you're just cutting calories and you think you're gonna get results, you're not, okay? I mean, it's a part of it. You do reduce the amount of calories you're eating obviously because you're trying to cut the fat but you want to maintain the muscle it's really important to maintain your fat and your protein levels while you're cutting carbs now you know if you're like me and you don't eat a high amount of carbs i mostly consume fast for my calories then it's a reduction of fats for me so but you want to time your meals just right as well you want to eat the majority of your calories around your workout it doesn't matter if you do it before or after or both, but you just kind of feel it out and see what works for you. But eating the majority of your calories around your workout will actually help you to maintain that muscle while you're losing the fat because what happens is the cells are more absorbent right after a workout. And, you know, glucose moves into the cells very easily at that point. And so you're going to get a good recovery and the cells, the muscle cells will be ready for the next workout. So there's other things you need to consider when you're looking at diet, when you wanna get the results with a cut. And one of them is food sensitivities. This is really important because certain foods may be causing inflammation in the body, which causes bloating, water retention, and you don't get the definition that you would get otherwise. Taking this into consideration, there's different reactions that you may be having to foods uh, if you're sensitive to them. One would be called an IgG reaction. That's more of a generalized type reaction. And it's more like bloating, uh, water retention, tired, fatigue, brain fog, and the like, maybe even some joint pain, back pain, that kind of thing. And then there's the IgA reaction, which is more along the mucous membranes, like you might be experiencing asthma, congestion, um, and diarrhea, who knows, indigestion. So these are the different kinds of things you may be experiencing if you're having a sensitivity to any foods. Most people have at least one or two sensitivities and they're not aware of it. Again, the symptoms may be more mild, they may be more severe, it's very individual. So what I do as a doctor is I do, uh, a six week elimination cleanse. And basically what this does is heals the gut because leaky gut can be a big culprit to food sensitivities. Once it gets healed, you may not be reacting to the foods you would be reacting to otherwise. So I typically will do a six week gut healing protocol before I test for food sensitivities. And the reason for that is because you will react to everything if you have a leaky gut. What happens is when you have leaky gut, there's gaps in the tight junctions of the GI lining and everything passes through into the bloodstream, bacteria, whole food particles, and then you start having these reactions. Once you heal the gut, those food particles and those bacteria 
uh, particles don't pass through the gut lining and you don't have the reaction. So healing the gut is really important before spending the time and the money on a food allergy panel. Then once we've done the six week gut healing protocol, we test for food sensitivities. Then when the report comes back, I go over it with my patient. My patients will, depending on the level of sensitivity, will either completely avoid the foods for six months or um, limit the amount of that certain food that they're consuming. So anyway, this is something that's really important to take into consideration because if you're experiencing inflammation, there's going to be bloating. You're going to have, you're not going to have the definition. You're, you know, you're retaining water on the extracellular matrix. So um, you just don't look as well defined and you don't look as lean as you would otherwise. Inflammation, systemic inflammation is a big culprit for preventing you from getting the aesthetic results that you want. And if you're looking to create that beach body for the summer, it's also important. It's not just for competitors, it's for anybody that wants results. And why would you want to be having sensitivities to foods anyway? There are other indications health-wise that food sensitivities can affect. You know, it affects hormone production, immune cell production. It affects your overall general health. So it's just better to get that gut healed, know what food you're reacting to, and you know and get the results that you want so anyway hey guys i'm gonna head home eat some food thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you get uh, notifications for all the cool videos to come also please subscribe to my newsletter you're going to get information there that you're not going to get in these videos that's going to really help you to fine-tune your training fine-tune your health and fine-tune your success in life I'm Victoria Munoz. See you next time.